Welcome back. It's time for us to look at the Ryoji Social Link. So, let us begin. Hey, Yuki-chan. If you want, we can go somewhere after this. I want to spend time with you. Ryoji invited you out. Fortuna. When you spend time after school with Ryoji? Yeah. Wow, thanks. Ryoji seems happy. Oh, Ryoji-kun! Are you going home? Ah, Mika... Mi Mikako? Mikako-chan? Oh, it's Ryoji! Go with buns. Uh. Hey, are you going somewhere? Ryoji is suddenly surrounded by a swarm of girls. Sorry ladies, but I've already got plans for today. Maybe next time? What? When's next time gonna be? Tell you what, I'll make sure I see you in your dreams tonight. Squeal! Oh. Ugh, so cheesy and horrible. Yogi charms his way through the throng of female students. Aha, uh -huh, please. You're all so cute. I can't choose just one of you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I've already decided on my princess for today. Yoji suddenly takes your hand. Alright. The glares you receive from all around are physically painful. Uh, should I, should I go? Oh no, her princess needs an escort. All the dots. Yoji suddenly falls silent. Sorry. I'm not mad. It's just that... I'm sorry, I feel like I shouldn't be saying things like this to you. Ryoji looks dejected. I want to be more sincere with you. I wonder why. Ryoji tightens his grip on your hand. The other girls leave, throwing a few dark looks your way. Oh, sorry. I guess San's going to get angry again if she sees me holding your hand. But I wonder why. For some reason, I guess San too. I feel like I know her, and it's on the tip of my brain. I, I just can't remember it. Ryoji looks somewhat sad. You feel as if you're seeing a different, less cheerful side to Ryoji. Rank 3. Level 3, Fortune. Oh, I shouldn't let myself get lost in thought while you're with me. Hey, can you show me around the city? I want to go see all the places you'd like to go to. You and Ryoji spent time meandering around the city. Right. Rank 4. The Mall in the Cafe. This place is interesting. Um... What makes it interesting? You know, that's a hard question to answer. Ryoji keeps looking around eagerly, taking in all the details. You know, all these people around us, I'll bet they're all couples. Now that he mentioned it, you see romantic couples everywhere in the cafe. Being lovers means that there's nobody else in the world that you care more for, right? That'd be wonderful if it were really true. Uh, I think it really happens. I see. Ryoji laughs amiably. You know, sometimes I think... I would still like you, no matter if you were a guy or a girl. Why would? What? Uh, what do you mean? Is that such an odd thing to say? Not really. Ryoji smiles gently. I'm positive that I've known you before. Yeah, I wonder why, Pharos. When I'm with you, I just get this feeling that I'll find out how I know you and we'll become closer. I... Mm, mm. But for some reason, that makes me want to cry. I've never cried before. Ryoji seems sad. I feel like you've come to understand Ryoji a little more. Rank 4 Level 4 Fortune. I want to spend time with you alone like this. If I'm not bothering you, would it be alright if I asked you out again? 
Uh, you're not a bother at all. No, uh, that's that's more a Yuki response. I'd be totally up for it. I see. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, that reminds me. That school trip's coming up soon, right? Let's find some time to go somewhere together while we're there. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Ryoji laughs happily. We left Ryoji and decided to go back to the dorm. Right, rank 5 incoming. Right, now run the school trip to Kyoto. And since Ryoji asked you to come along, you decided to walk around a little more with him. Kyoto, along the bank of the Kamogawa River? You sat with Ryoji, eating a crepe that you bought from a nearby stand. Green tea crepe? That colour's a little off-putting. Oh, but it's delicious. You can't find this in Iwatodai. <laughs> it makes me kind of happy. What makes you happy? I'm having new experiences, and I get to share them with you, Yuki-chan. That's what I enjoy so much. Ryoji laughs, delighted. Hey, here's something I don't know. The light reflects off the river in a different way than it shines off the ocean. Is it because it's flowing? Well, that might be it. The water's on a journey, too. I bet that must be fun. Ryoji smiles ser seren serenely? Seren seren serenely? Seren you, you know the word. I don't. I mean, I know what it means. Can't say it, though. That reminds me. This place is filled with couples, too. It seems that just as Ryoji mentions this, there are suddenly couples everywhere you look. They all look like they're having fun. What kind of things do lovers talk about? De depressing topics? Pointless topics? No clue. Depressing topics. We'll try and put him off a bit, you know. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if you can only discuss the most heartbreaking things with those closest to you. Damn, it didn't put him off. Ryoji nods seriously. All the dots. Ryoji gazes intently at you. What's the matter? Why you, I wonder? Alright, why voice acting, I wonder? Sure, you're nice and pretty, but... I don't think it's that. It's just... you. Me? Ryoji seems to be muttering to himself. You can sense that Ryoji thinks dearly of you. Rank 5. Level 5. Fortune. Hey, would you be willing to see me like this after we get back from the trip? Um... The day after we get back is the 22nd. It's a Sunday. I'd like to spend some more time with you. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. Yay. I was getting anxious about what I was going to do if you'd say no. Then, the 22nd it is. Don't forget. Ryoji laughs happily. It's starting to get a little chilly. I wonder if winter's just around the corner. Should we get going? You and Ryoji browse the souvenir shops before going back to the inn. And we'll go to the 22nd. You promised to meet Ryoji today. You need to hurry. Daytime. The mall, the cafe. Going to Kyoto was fun. Going out with everyone, seeing and eating so many different things. Then we go to bed and wake up and do it all over again the next day. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. I had fun too. Yeah, you were laughing a lot, Yuki-chan. Ryoji laughs merrily. Did you see this? I bought it at one of the souvenir shops. Ryoji is wearing a thin ring on his finger. I, I didn't notice at all. I guess it's proof of the fun memories I've made. I felt like I wanted a reminder of those times. And then I saw this in the store. Ryoji tenderly caresses the ring. The one ring to rule them all. Rings are mysterious. When you get used to wearing one, it's as natural as if you were born with it. At the same time, it feels constricting. 
But when I look at it, it reminds me of the good times I had. I think that rings are things that mine memories to the person who wears them. And I think I get it. Chuckle. Ryojin laughs peacefully. This is my treasure. I hope I'll get more and more treasures as life goes on. I'm sure that me will be the case. If I'm with you. Ryoji smiles happily. I feel like your relationship with Ryoji has gone a little closer. Unfortunately. I tried to dissuade him earlier. Rank 6. But it didn't work. Level 6. Fortune. All the dots. Are you the one I've been waiting for all this time? Um, Probably yes, but not in the way you think. I know you. Yeah, you do, Pharos. I feel like I've known you for a very long time. Yoji seems to be muttering to himself. He seems distressed by this. You spent time quietly talking with him. You stopped by the cafe on your way back from school. Ryoji called you over. The mall, the cafe, once again. I'm sorry to call you over without warning. Am I interrupting anything important? I'm alright. I see. Ryoji seems relieved. I was in the same group as Junpei-kun, but he never showed up at the beginning. He only came on one of the days because the teacher said that he had to. Something seemed really strange about him though. Yeah, th this is just after the point where Chidori died, so yeah. I talked to him, but he didn't seem like he was listening at all. He looked like he was about to cry. Did something happen? Yeah. Should I not ask about it? Ryoji looks down, sadly. Junpei-kun is someone I care about. That's why I'm worried. I've never seen him this way before. I wonder if there's anything I can do. You can sense Ryoji's deep concern for Junpei. I feel that you come to understand Ryoji a little better now. Rank 7 Level 7 Fortune you spent time with Ryoji, but it was a little sad. Right, on to rank 8. Ryoji took you to school. Together, you climbed over the gates and quietly made your way to the rooftop. Gekken High Rooftop. I wonder if we'll get in trouble if someone finds us. We'll just have to not be seen. All the dots. <laughs> I see. You're an interesting person. Why, thank you. Ryoji laughs gently. When I'm alone, I don't feel right. I think I'm scared. Thinking about you, it scares me. The fact that tomorrow will come scares me. But I can't figure out why. Hey, Yuki-chan. I... I... I'm... You're Ryoji? All the dots. Hearing my name from your lips makes it sound so wonderful. Thank you. Ryoji gives you a warm smile. I don't want to lose you. Because you're important to me. That's probably why I'm scared. You're the only one there is for me. Yeah. The only one I want. So please, stay with me. Is Ryoji confessing his love to you? You feel that you need to respond carefully to this. As a friend, then. Anything's fine. I'll be your friend as long as I can stay by your side. You're the most precious thing in the world to me. More precious than my own life. Ryoji laughs gently. You sense that you have a bond with Ryoji. Rank 8 He took rejection very well then. Level 8. Fortune. Yuki-chan, look. The ocean's glimmering. All the dots. 
Why does it hurt when I see things that are so beautiful? It's so strange. You spend some time with Ryoji, then return to the dorm before the two of you were, were caught up there. Oh, great. Gakunai, rooftop. Again, but we got caught up here last time, but at least today is a school day. You can see the entire city spreading around you, all the way to the ocean. Hey, why is this city so beautiful? The city, the sea, the sky, they're all full of light. Um, you just like the city? It, it, well, yeah, it's all new to you. That, that's the one that seems appropriate there, doesn't it? I see. I wonder if I'll get used to it someday. It's a mystery. Ryoji gazes off into the distance. My eyes hurt. My body hurts too for some reason. What's... what? Are you crying? Like, is he crying? Alright. He said he never cried before, so... Crying? Why would I be crying? Being here with you makes me more than happy. Ryoji looks down, sadly. Please, don't forget me. All the dots. No. Forget me. Wait, don't forget me. Make up your mind, mate! No, I'm wanting to talk, aren't I? I won't forget you. Yuki-chan. Ryoji's lips are trembling. When I think about you, I hurt inside. It hurts. Ryoji seems to be in turmoil. You sense Ryoji's serious feelings. Rank 9. And as far as I know, rank 10 is on the decision day. Level 9. Fortune. Please forget it. When the time comes, get what I said. Forget me. You let this scene on the rooftop of Ryoji sink deep into your memory. Afterwards, you headed back to the dorm. Right? Rank 10 incoming. Decision day. Right, here we are. We're at the decision. And we're gonna let Ryoji live. I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I noticed. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Yes. Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. We'll let you live. <sighs> I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Oh, I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you. No problem. Goodbye. Goodbye. And... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. It was nice. I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Ryoji is smiling. Ryoji slipped off a ring that was on his finger. Could you hold on to this? It's proof that I was human, for however short a time. If you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it. Here's a question. If he was human for a short amount of time, where was he living for all this short amount of time? 
Surely had a place to stay. Hmm. You received faint glow ring from Ryoji. You feel a strong, solid bond with Ryoji. Now it's I and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Fortune Arcana have been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Norn, the ultimate form of the Fortune Arcana. The Ryoji social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Ryoji social link. Your power to create personas of the Fortune Arcana has reached its maximum. Yuki Makono has forged a bond that cannot be broken. The Fortune Social Link is at its maximum level. You can now create Norn, the three goddesses of fate. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they will as well. Right. Oh, there we go. I was just waiting to see if anybody spoke. Right, Satsa's done with Ryoji's Social Link. Next up is Mitsuru's, and then we're done with Persona 3. So we'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye for now.